Hello and welcome back to the Room 4 Old Sins. Well, last time we finished off the next chapter of the game, and today we'll be continuing on our adventures in the Room 4 Old Sins. And we're going to start things off as usual by holding down this button on the center of the Stranger Artifact piece, which we received in the last episode. And then we are going to take the mechanical wooden box we find inside. And as usual, nothing is quite as it seems, so we're going to want to open this thing up all the way. First thing first, we're going to want to rotate it around like this. We're still not done yet, though, because we need to drag up these handrails. We're still not done, though, because we're going to make this a staircase. We're going to drag this one up, pull this one down, and there is our completed staircase, which we can then place in this part of the larger dollhouse just like that. Now let's put on our eyepiece and head into a brand new room. The Japanese Gallery. To start off, we got some story bits to read. Let's go ahead and zoom into this book. Open the latch. And read some story details. My stomach lurches me awake. Something is not right. The world feels different. I rush to my study. The door lies open. This can't be happening. My world is snatched from me. She has taken the null. Oh, Abigail. Dear, sweet Abigail. Now is not the time for trembling hearts. Not when we are so close. I will come to you. I will make you understand. You can't have gone far. Not alone. Without containment, it would. Oh, God. My Abigail. Anyway, let's solve some puzzles. Alright, so first and first, we're gonna, we're gonna zoom into this larger... Uh, structure over here, drag this panel to the right, slide this switch to the right as well. Now we're going to rotate this wheel to the right to get this going. Next we're going to slide these panels both to the left, I said both to the left, and then uh, rotate this to the left hand side to get that rolling. And we're going to leave that alone for now, we will come back here later. Uh, to mess around with this clam. We're gonna leave it alone for now, but we will come back here later. For now, we're going to take this carved brass sphere, zoom out, and then zoom into the right side of the area over here, and then place this carved brass sphere in the base of this table, just like so. Now we're going to zoom around to the back of this house, and then zoom in just down here. We are now going to rotate this uh, wheel around until this uh, until the opening in this little block stops, so we can slide it here. I believe on mobile you have to rotate the wheel with one hand, and then slide this in position with the other. But of course on PC, that's not necessary, all you have to do is just rotate the wheel until this opening is in place. And then we can slide this latch to lock it in. Then we can take an ornate wooden capsule as your prize. But as you, as for the usual, everything is not as it seems with this wooden capsule. Let's go ahead and open it up by uh, rotating this arrow to point it to the left. Now we, ha we can actually slide open these individual pieces just like so. And on the inside of them all is a little image that we have to select. We can either pick from this fox, this spider, or this bird. This first one has to be set to the spider, next we have to set this one to the bird, and this last one has to be set to the fox. If you do that, it'll automatically close and open up all the way, and now it is complete. So now what we can do is take this back over to the structure on the left hand side of the room, and place it on this little area right here, and then rotate it to the left so that this slides over to the left, and we can now slide the switch right and the panel to the right to take the unfinished wooden sculpture, which will be useful in a second, but for now we're going. what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to rotate this to the right so that we can free the cog and start spinning it around to get this final piece unlocked. And we can now take the harpoon. And that is going to be all we can do in the Japanese gallery for the moment. So now we're going to back all the way out and return actually this time to the maritime room. So let's go ahead and go back in here. We do have some unfinished pieces to take care of inside here. And the first thing we're going to want to do, it'll seem insignificant for the time being, but I promise it will pay off later, is we're going to want to zoom in here and shut off this machine. 
I know it seems insignificant, but I promise there will be a method to the madness in just a second. But for now, what we're going to want to do is going to want to load a harpoon into this machine, just like I said, just like so. Then back out just a smidge, zoom in right here, pull this back to prime it ready for launch, and then simply zoom in right here. You'll notice that it's already aiming pretty much where we need to go, but we're going to just, just do a little bit of fine positioning to make sure it's lined up perfectly in the center with this little ring right here. And then pull this switch to the left to fire and strike the bell. And as I'm sure you can assume, we can collect that bell, so let's go ahead and back out of the maritime room, zoom into the bell tower, and pick up this bell, and open it up all the way by first flipping this switch, or flipping the latch out of the top, and rotating it all around to reveal a bunch of cogs at the end, in more of a gear fashion. And you may remember from when we first entered the maritime room, that there was a side of the safe in the back that had this, this kind of design structure with the cogs. So now we are going to place that in the center, right here I said right here and now we're going to rotate it around until we have this uh, this snake cog right here in the top position just like so now once you have the snake in uh, once you have the snake position in the top you want to do a little bit of fine-tuning with the outer rim so that it is perfectly straight like that it, it'll kind of help you automatically default but that one's a little finicky I must admit uh, but basically here I'll, I'll, I'll open this up and then I'll zoom back in down there so I can kind of show you a little bit more of what I mean when I say it's finicky uh, you have to basically what I would start doing. Can I not? Okay, I guess I guess I can't zoom back in. But what you want to do is you want to you want to get the snake gear in the top, and then do a little bit of fine tuning with the outer rim to make sure it's per perfectly straight. Because you need all three symbols to be upright um, in this position so that the top will open. So just just get them in this position to where the snake's on top, the boat is to the left, and the anchor's to the right, and then fine tune the outer rim until they are the, until they're all perfectly upright. Anyway, now that we've opened up this top, let's get to work. First, we want to rotate this around until the, the, the until this is a perfectly straight line. Slide this up, then rotate it to the right so that it'll f uh, flick this to the left. Then zoom into the front of the safe, slide this out. Now ro uh, rotate this back around, and just rotate it to the other side so that we can flip this back towards the other direction. Then do it one more time so that it's all the way over to the right. And now we can undo the other side of the latch just like so. Now there's just one more thing to do. We need to get the bottom latch undone. And to do that, we are going to want to flick this back in the same direction we've been rotating it like so. And then pull the latch down. And we can get and we can finally get into the safe. And light the fuse to end the chapter. Now let's just take the strange artifact. And that is the Maritime Room complete. What lies below will inexorably claw its way above, dragging the helpless back down with them. I have scoured the depths beneath the waves and emerged gasping. And that'll be it for now, so thanks for watching, stay tuned for next time to catch you all tomorrow for some more of the Room 4 Old Sins. Goodbye!